The Farm Pea Project is an EIP agri scheme that is running in the Midlands of Ireland at the moment. So we got funding from April 2021 until April 2023. At the moment we have eight project sites, so that's eight raised bogs across the Midlands covering Westmeath, Offaly, Roscommon and Kildare. The main focus of the project is to look at agricultural landscapes around raised bogs in the Midlands of Ireland. So we look at the transition zones where we move from the raised bog to the agricultural area. And these peat soils that farmers are currently farming on are what we're focusing on really in the project. My name is Mike Fehilly and I farm here in South West Common. We have a mixed farm here of both mineral land running into peatland on the verges of Camboli Bog. We run an enterprise of beef suckler cows and their offspring. I have a great interest in the environment and what effects that farming has on the environment. So I have been participating in the Farm Peat project for the last two years to improve the diversity and the hydrology of the peatland and to enrich the composition between the farmland and the bog. My role specifically then in the project is to work with the farmers that are farming these peat soils around the raised bogs. I call out to the farms, I do an assessment on their peat soil. The three main things that I'm looking for are biodiversity, hydrology, which is primarily the drains on their farm, and then any damaging activities. I work one-on-one -on -one with the farmers. I like to get to know the farmer themselves and their farm as well. And then once the assessments are done, we can have a discussion on any actions they might want to implement on their farm to improve the result of their assessment. We examined all the hedgerows, the drains and other features. We decided on measures which we could put in place in order to assist in re-wetting the bogs. That was slowing down the water that was draining from it. Let the vegetation grow back to its more natural course and prevent the bogs drying out. Emma was a great help in pointing out initiatives that could be worked upon to help in the rehydration of the peatlands. The fact that Emma had called on a number of occasions to the farm is that she could point out in person the initiatives that could be taken to bring the peatlands back to their status that they had been in years gone by. One of the main reasons that the project is so successful is because we take a bottom-up approach. So when we take a bottom-up approach, it means that we're working mainly one-on-one -on -one with the farm and we take their feedback and their expertise on their local area and we build that into the project and we build it into the approach that we take then. Having participated in the Farm Peat project, I feel there's an incredibly vital element in what they deliver in the Love Your Wellies initiative. I know myself that I won't live forever and the generations to follow have to look after their environment as much as this present generation. It's extremely important that we educate our young people and bring them along to appreciate their environments, show them by example, teach them all about biodiversity and the vital importance that it plays in our lives. My farm doesn't stop at my gate to my laneway. It expands into the greater community in our farm practices, what we produce, and for people to have an acknowledgement of that is vitally important. Farm Peat Project is a two-year project. So if the project did get extended, then that means that Farm Peat would be around to see the benefits of the work that the farmers are actually doing on their land at the moment. So if they were to slow the flow of the water in their drain, then eventually we would see wetland biodiversity coming back over a number of years and it would be great for Farm Peat to be around to be able to see that and then for the farmer to receive the payments for doing that work also. So at the moment we're in year two and that means we have 51 farmers. Ideally speaking, if the project was to run for a longer period of time, we would have a larger catchment area. So we'd focus on building a catchment area around each specific bog. So we'd have neighbouring farmers joining up and doing work together. Then we'd have more of an impact with the work that we're doing as well. Based on that experience that I had with the farm peat team, I'd be more open to joining similar schemes going forward. The benefits from having been involved in the farm peat project, insects returning to what we haven't seen in a number of years, it's a joy to see. And I now know that our biodiversity is now beginning to work as it should.